Hello and welcome back guys to my channel. I'm so sorry that I've been gone for a while and I've left you guys high and dry. So the reason why the Hack the Box Academy video stopped is because I got banned from Hack the Box. They sent me an email and banned my Hack the Box Academy account because of the videos I was putting out on YouTube. That is why the videos have been taken down because I wouldn't be able to write the CBTS exam without taking the videos down. So once the, I took the videos down, I was able to continue learning for the exam and take the exam. I am sorry about that, but it's just how the cookie crumbles at the end of the day. But let's get on to today's video. I'm back, I'm better than ever. I got Clint the video guy behind the camera now. Video production quality is gonna be much better. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, please like and subscribe. Today's video is all about the EJPT. So what is the EJPT? It is eLearn's Junior Penetration Testing Certification and it is by INE. So INE bought out eLearn. They did some kind of merger and acquisition. Um, so INE offers the service uh, for the training and the course content. At the time of this video, it's going to cost you about $250 to buy an exam voucher which comes with three months of fundamental training which you need for the exam. So with that being said, let's discuss some advantages and disadvantages, what I think about the exam, my thoughts. If I would take the exam again, I took it last year in March, uh, now working as a penetration tester, just my thoughts and my views on the exam. So let's get straight into it with some advantages. So one of the big advantages is obviously price, because at the end of the day, a lot of things come down to price. So the certification is priced at $250 and for that $250 you get the learn fundamentals which is basically the course content that you need for the course. Uh, you get that for three months. So if you don't complete it in three months you have to start paying $120 something about that. So it is a bit of a catch 22. If you do complete it in three months you only pay $250. You get the course content as well as the exam voucher for that. So compared to something like the OSCP, which is, I think is going for around $1,500 now, it's, it's quite a lot cheaper than that. So in comparison to that, it's a bit more affordable. The second thing is that I really enjoyed about it is the course content is all video based. So as someone who likes watching things, I enjoyed it a lot more than something like the CBTS, which is text heavy. You don't have any videos actually for the CBTS, which is really nice thing about the EJPT. So that's the second point. Third point is the course content is really high quality and the, the lecturers are really good. Alexis Ahmed and Josh Mason do a really good job delivering the content and it's all in bite sized chunks. So you don't have to worry about a three hour video. I think the longest video was about half an hour. So it's quite easy for the ADHD brain uh, which is something that I really enjoyed. And then another good thing is the exam covers everything in the course, but to the extent that you don't need any external knowledge on weird and wonderful things. So everything you need for the exam is covered in the course, which is really good. Okay, now onto the bad news. You can't have the good without the bad. Hey, the yin and the yang. So let's get let's get the elephant out of the room. It is not as big as the OSCP so HR does not love it as much as the OSCP as much as that pains me to say I have come across people asking for the EJPT in a couple of job posts on the LinkedIn on the Indeed on the Glassdoor but nothing compared to the OSCP <laughs> even when they did ask for the EJPT the OSCP was there number one the EJPT there was third so yeah it's not as big as the OSCP Another disadvantage about the course is it doesn't contain any Active Directory, which is quite a big thing in the world of pen testing. Uh, Microsoft has a massive hold on the market, so if you're going for a penetration testing, ethical hacking job interview, chances are you're going to be asked about some Active Directory things. So it misses out a big chunk of, of knowledge in that sense. Um, so yeah, so those are the two big disadvantages. Okay, let's bring this bad boy home. Do I think the certification is a good certification? So, I've come to the conclusion that I think it's for different people at different stages of their career. 
The first person is somebody who doesn't know if they want to be an ethical hacker, pen tester, security engineer, cloud architect, solution architect, software engineer. They want to get a little bit of experience of the ethical hacking side of things. So someone who doesn't know anything about the industry, I definitely think it's a good place to start for them. It's really beginner friendly, so I think it does a great job of answering the questions of what a day in the life as an ethical hacker is in terms of the technical stuff. It misses out obviously on Active Directory, so I do uh, deduct points there for, for that. Then the other person is someone who knows they want to be a hacker. They, they want to be a pen tester, they want to be an ethical hacker, an offensive security consultant, engineer, whatever you want to call it. I don't think the certification is for them. I think they would be better off doing a more senior, more in-depth certification, something like Hack the Boxes CPTS. I think it would better suit them for the same price point, slightly kind of 250 somewhere there. I think they'd be better doing something like that or even saving their pennies and going for the OSCP. So yeah, in ending, if you are a beginner, complete noob, then the EJBT is for you. If you know you want to be an ethical hacker, you want to be in the industry, save your pennies, go for something else, go for the CPTS, something that has active directory, the OSCP, something that would definitely land you a job. So yeah, guys, I am coming back with a vengeance. There's going to be a lot more content. Clint, the camera guy, and myself, we're going to be making a lot more videos. I'm going to start my Instagram, Sai the Hacker. Monsa is going to change to Sai the Hacker on YouTube. So yeah, stay tuned, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love family.